Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Kronos. Today, I want to talk about the Bitcoin cash miner CoinGeek, which has been up and coming over the past year. They mined their first block in January of 2018, only seven months ago. But today, they are now the majority miner on the Bitcoin cash blockchain. So in this video, I want to talk about whether or not this puts the Bitcoin cash chain at risk of a 51% attack as this miner grows in power. So take a look at this chart here. You can see CoinGeek is the biggest piece of the pie at 22% right now and growing steadily. Does this mean they could take over 51% and attack the chain? Well, if you think about the larger Bitcoin Cash ecosystem, it's part of the larger Bitcoin ecosystem because Bitcoin BTC uses the same mining algorithm as Bitcoin Cash. So miners can switch back and forth at will. Now, CoinGeek has declared that they are only going to mine Bitcoin Cash. So what happens is they add miners to Bitcoin Cash, which increases its difficulty, which causes miners to say, hey, this is more difficult. I'm switching over to Bitcoin because I can make more money. Now, they're not forced to switch. They could keep mining Bitcoin Cash if they wanted to, but they switch because they make more money that way. So the net effect is that CoinGeek is kind of crowding other miners out of the Bitcoin Cash Pie because they're keeping the difficulty high with their miners. So when I think about whether or not this puts Bitcoin Cash at risk, I realize that this 22% is actually just 2.2% of the total Bitcoin mining power because miners can switch back and forth between these two chains and most of the miners are on Bitcoin. Actually, CoinGeek is still a relatively small miner compared to the world's biggest Bitcoin miners. So Bitcoin Cash is not really at risk of an attack from CoinGeek. They're more at risk of an attack from any Bitcoin miner that wants to just switch miners over and overwhelm the Bitcoin Cash chain. So CoinGeek is actually not a threat to the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem, in my opinion, because they're still a relatively small miner when you look at the total Bitcoin ecosystem. But it'll be interesting to see what happens as they continue to increase their hash rate over time. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't yet, just click the subscribe button down there and you'll get a notification the next time we make a video on this topic, because I'm going to be keeping an eye on this. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.